It's very smooth, there's plenty of power. It's very quiet, particularly when the engine stops and the vehicle runs in full electric mode. Really enjoyable, very, very similar to a diesel vehicle, except for when you're pulling away. There was absolutely no problems with the technology. Um, the vehicle feels like a conventional hybrid. My name's Richard Harrington. Um, I'm the engineering director for Go Ahead London. I'm Ian Waugh, and I'm the engineering director for Arriva London. Hi, I'm John Bickerton. I'm chief engineer at Reading Buses. Reading's an air quality management area. There's a particular focus on nitrous oxides in the town, and transport is one of the key drivers of air pollution. They're very much a climate agenda within London. The air quality is quite poor. The main thing for me is compliance. TfL will set compliance that, that you have to run a certain vehicle with a certain type in a certain area. Um, but on top of that, obviously, fuel uh, and ensuring that we leave a carbon footprint that we'll be proud of. It's not always about new buses. Sometimes it's about putting vehicles that you've already got onto the road in a cleaner state. Tender cycles in London are traditionally five years long, so if you want to exchange the range of a vehicle or the life of a vehicle for 15 years, but it's not compliant with the current regulations, it gives that operator an advantage to be able to repower those vehicles, make them compliant and operate them for further five years or for longer. For us, Vantage are able to offer a, an option for repowering our hybrid vehicles to upgrade them to the very latest in hybrid technology. I think Vantage Power led the way in terms of retrofit technology. It was simply the first technology that came on my radar where there was a retrofit option which wasn't a modification to the exhaust system, it was a complete change out of the, of the power plant. With Vantage it's really attractive to understand how, how deeply involved they are with the vehicle technically. They've been very, very open with their data and about understanding any issues and also the, the system and how it works. This is the first of its kind of this technology, so our vehicles that we've identified to run the trial with Vantage Pi are now being converted. We're trialling two buses in London that we're going to put on different routes in different areas, so a vehicle travelling through the central London is obviously travelling at four, five, six miles an hour, he's going to have a worse fuel consumption than a vehicle that's travelling in the suburbs and travelling at 15, 16 miles an hour. We've trialled this vehicle shadowing an existing service bus and it will go into service next week to understand how it performs in frontline service. The hybrid buses in our fleet at the moment are between 10 and 20% more fuel efficient than the diesel equivalent. The figures we've been seeing from the Vantage system when we've trialled it, shadowing our services, have been very, very promising, much, much more than that. It fills a gap, it, it, it bridges that gap that doesn't exist in the marketplace right now in terms of a retrofit option. It's a smoother ride for the customers, it's, it's working with the latest technology, uh, the drivers, there's not so much vibration in the vehicle and it's cleaner from the exhaust pipe.